updates that you're getting includes a chart to help you understand um, the, the switch and uh, which hours would change and um, the time of the year that it would change. And so you can see by looking at that, that during the summer months, there, there will be no change in when the time and when the sun goes up and down. But during um, January and February and November and December, the sun will rise one hour later and set one hour earlier. proposes once before. Forty-five years ago, in response to an energy crisis, Congress put the entire U.S. on year-round daylight savings time. It was extremely unpopular and lasted only 16 months. There was no evidence of any um, savings in terms of energy, but analysis of traffic data that was performed afterwards confirmed what had been reported in the press. A statistically significant increase in school age fatalities during the morning in, June, in the months of January and February. They didn't study November and December, they just studied the first four months of the year. Switching to the Atlantic time zone will make mornings darker and afternoons lighter. From November to March, the sun will rise one hour later than it does now. In December and January, the sun will rise between 8 and 8.15. This extended morning darkness poses a real safety risk to both school districts and morning commuters. Children, especially in rural areas, will be walking to the bus stop as early as two hours before sunrise. Where there are no sidewalks, they will be standing in the road. Morning commuters will need to deal with darkness in addition to snow and plow trucks. Some have suggested that um, you could um, address the issue of the school children being in the dark by having schools start an hour later. Um, they, they cite studies that show teenagers do better when they have a later start time, which is absolutely true. But some of our high schools have already switched to a later start time. And um, if, so if this time zone change were, were to go into effect, those schools would have to be starting at 9 or 9.30. If they, schools don't adjust their, their start time, it will, um, even if they do adjust their start time by one hour, then they will just be in a neutral position because in terms of the sun, it will be the same. So they will not be gaining that benefit that you may have read about um, in the press about the teenagers, they just want to sleep. They want to go to bed late and they want to wake up earlier in the morning. Most of the supposed benefits that are um, attributed to this plan, such as reduced traffic deaths and fewer heart attacks, are specious. Much of the evidence offered is not scientifically sound, and almost all of it is based on data that is related to just the few days for the transition in uh, spring and transition time period. It's not related to having um, the sun rise an hour later during the winter months. So just, just to go back to the issue about the, the teenagers. Um, everyone would like an additional hour of light in the winter afternoons, but the trade-off is one more um, hour of darkness in the morning, and the darkness will be particularly difficult for the teenagers. There are some other issues related to this change, although I think the school safety is the, the most important issue. Um, the, the sponsor mentioned the um, two interstate school districts that we have. We have about 1,000 students in those two districts between New Hampshire and Vermont. And what this would mean is that during the, um, from November through February, um, November, 
through March. It's the beginning of March. November through March. Um, that those students, um, the Vermont ones, will be living in in a time zone that's different from the New Hampshire students. And we also have schools on both sides of the board. So that will be extremely confusing. Um, in addition to that, things the other things that will happen that will impact many people is TV shows will be one hour later. Um, a lot of people would be particularly uh, disheartened to learn that the Super Bowl wouldn't even start until 9.30 at night. Uh, airline schedules will be extremely confusing. And, and it's also the case that only the U.S. Department of Congress of Commerce can approve a time zone change. States can ask to eliminate daylight savings time, but to actually go to, and, and that would, I, I, that's their choice, but to go to a different time zone requires um, the approval of the Department of Congress. And I don't believe that any states have done that and have been or been successful with that. Um, it's it's to, to make that change is a very lengthy pro process. The U.S. Department of Commerce would ha have to hold public hearings in the areas affected. They would have to take the public input um, pretty much in the same manner that um, was used when the Northern Pass was proposed and they took public input. Another factor um, that's worth considering is last year, Senator Marco Rubio introduced a bill to include in, um, convert the entire U.S. to this year-round daylight savings time. That bill was never acted upon. Citizens will be impacted, but few know about this bill. Most of them think that uh, daylight savings time simply means removing the spring and the fall transition, but but you would really have to have a discussion and a big information campaign to explain to people all of the implications. Thank you. Any questions? I have one question, and I'm, I'm sorry, you gave a lot of good information. I appreciate it, but I'm still I'm stuck on Super Bowl starting at 9:30. Why would it start at 9:30? Um, if, if we just forget about this bill for a, a moment. Um, have you heard the, the suggestions by um, educators and scientists that say um, teenagers' brains operate differently? And it makes them, and because of that change, they like to, sleep, they like to stay up late at night and um, sleep late in the morning. So a lot, a lot of um, educators and, and um, medical professionals have suggested that schools start an hour later for middle schools and high schools because of this biological change that teenagers go through. And some school districts have already done that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the ones that have already moved their high school start time, which is typically around 7.30 to 8.30. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, Not that I, I asked about the Super Bowl. Oh, the Super Bowl? What? So, so the Super Bowl starts at 8.30 now, right? I'm not a big sports fan, but... 6 o'clock usually, but 6.30 kick off. But Is that's okay, that's start? right. Never mind, we don't, it's, it's okay, I'm getting your point. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to... Thank you. Okay. Um, Representative Bell, proposed and speaker. Thank you. 